Once upon a time, there lived a carpenter <sighs> named Geppetto who felt very alone because he was a widower and had no children. One fine day, Geppetto decided to make a toy doll out of pine wood. It was so beautiful that he gave him a name, Pinocchio. Mm -hmm. While Geppetto slept that night, a blue fairy appeared. Knowing how much the old man wanted a son, the fairy granted him his deepest desire. Pinocchio would take on life. <laughs> but if he wanted to become a real boy, he'd have to behave, be sincere, and be generous. Because Pinocchio was made of wood, he didn't have a conscience, and he needed a little bit of help to distinguish right from wrong. Luckily, he met a talking cricket that offered to lend him a hand. The next morning, Geppetto woke up to see that his doll was alive. He couldn't believe it. Without thinking twice, the old man sent the boy to school so that he'd become clever and made Pinocchio promise he'd behave. On the way to school, Pinocchio <laughs> came across two other boys who were going to see a puppet show instead of going to class. Feeling curious and ignoring the cricket's advice, he skipped class and went to see the show. When the puppeteer saw Pinocchio, he imagined how rich he could become by having a show whose star was a live puppet. He quickly captured Pinocchio and made the puppet work for him. Pinocchio wept, regretting what he'd done, and the blue fairy came to help him. The boy told her that he'd been captured on his way to school when, suddenly, his nose began to grow. The blue fairy explained to Pinocchio that his nose would grow each time he lied, as this was part of the spell. She decided to give him a second opportunity and freed him from the cage the puppeteer had put him in on one condition. He could never lie again. Pinocchio felt very ashamed. If Geppetto saw his long nose, he'd know the boy had lied. He decided to hide on an island called Toyland, where children played all day long, and there was no school. What Pinocchio didn't know was that after breaking books and eating candy, the boys and girls on Toyland were turned into donkeys. By the time Pinocchio realized this, it was too late. He had grown donkey ears. Pinocchio decided he'd never return home because he'd never be able to be a good boy. <laughs> Sad and disheartened, he asked the blue fairy for one last wish, for his father to forget him. Meanwhile, Geppetto had gone out to sea in search of Pinocchio. Suddenly, an enormous whale surfaced, causing a huge wave. From the shore of the island, Pinocchio saw that his father was in danger, and he dove into the water to save him. But the whale swallowed Geppetto, Pinocchio, and the cricket. Inside the whale, the cricket had a great idea, to light a bonfire. The smoke of the flames tickled the gigantic animal, and it sneezed so hard that the trio was shot out of its mouth. Free at last. <coughs> Pinocchio had saved both Geppetto and his cricket friend. Because he was made of wood, he had no problem floating. Then, something magical occurred. The blue fairy appeared to make good on her promise. She made Pinocchio a real boy. By risking his life for others, he proved that his heart was not made of wood after all. 